Hi, my name is Matthew Rohr, developer for this Road Trip game app. And I want to give you a quick demonstration of what this app can do. I've taken frequent trips with my family, uh, long road trips, and we love to play road trip games. And we wanted to have an easy to access reference for all those favorite games. And that's what this app does for us. There's 11 different road trip games. There's game timers. There's a scoreboard to even help keep track of player scores. And even a gas calculator. So let's look at the games first. So I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, select a game. And you see these are the different games that are available. I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and select one, the Storyteller. And we can see that all games are laid out in an easy to read article style with game instructions and variations. Now I can also play random games. If I click on the random button up in the upper right hand corner here, it's just going to randomly load games for us. Now let's go ahead and look at game timers. So we're back at the menu here. I'm going to click on game timers. And there's two different game timers that comes with this app. One is a stopwatch. And the next one is a countdown timer. And the countdown timer will, will count down. Um, when it gets to zero, it will display an alert box, let you know time's up. Very helpful when you're playing the various different road trip games and you need to keep time for whatever reason. Um, and you can set it up however you need to. Let's go back to the home page. Let's talk about the scoreboard. All right, so when you're playing a road trip game, you need to be able to keep score. Um, any kind of game, really. And so we wanted an easy way to be able to do that because we got tired of trying to keep score on old, uh, the back of old receipts and whatever pieces of paper we could, we'd fly and lying around in the car. So to use it, we click on scoreboard. And as you can see, we have uh, uh, some players in here already, but if, if uh, you're just installing this from scratch, it's just going to say player 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to game setup. And from here, this is where you can manage uh, the players and also set up the scoreboard. So right now we say um, every point is worth one point and it takes five points to win. And you can change that for, for whatever purposes you need. And the scoreboard is going to auto sort. And now you, we need to determine who's going to play this game. So we're going to go ahead and add a new player. And be player number six. And we'll give it the name of Android. No, no, no. Android. Star Wars is coming out soon. And then we'll click on the icon here. We'll give them a new different icon. You just keep selecting an icon until you find something you like. And let's go ahead and say dog is going to sit this one out. So now we can select who's playing, who's not playing. We click on scoreboard. And there it is. And so all you need to do is click either on the plus or the minus to give or subtract points. And you can see that the scoreboard will auto sort depending on who's in the lead. And you can turn that off if you want to. And you just keep playing until someone wins. Dad won. And that's the scoreboard. So let's go back to the home page and look at one of our last features here. And that is the gas calculator. Go ahead and click on that. All right. So this was just to put in to give you an estimate of how much your trip is going to cost in gas, which can be very helpful if you're on a very tight budget. So for instance, I just went to Portland recently. Um, Portland for me is about 250 miles away. I get about 45 miles per gallon in my car. I got a Prius and the gas prices were say 225 calculate about $12.50, which is about right. That's what we paid in gas going up to Portland. Pretty nice. And there's some additional tips here as well on how to save money on a road trip. All right, and that's the Road Trip Games app in a nutshell.